our discussion yesterday was is it possible to have a mapping between uh, uh, points on a curve in a 3D space to uh, curves in 2D space. Uh, example was the vertical and the horizontal uh, model of a street and the street in the terrain. Uh, here a simplified case but it's a prototype so uh, I think it will work. What is the structure? We have uh, such a cross object uh, for the face and uh, it has two parameters u and v and to manage it uh, I, ha I use uh, the managers of the animation workbench so I can change a parameter and the cross is running here and I can use the other parameter uh, the other manager and can change the other uh, value. Uh, this all uh, works in 3D space so we can bring our screen in a position and zoom in uh, how we want it. Okay, and what is the next? Uh, there is a connection between the cross for the face object with its parameters u and v to the crosses for the sketch. Here in this uh, case sketch we have a mapping of the u parameter of the cross for the face to u and for the other sketch we have the mapping of y to u. So that means if I change this value then u is changed and here also uh, the cross uh, on the face runs along a u iso uh, line and when I change the y value I have the other effect. So this way I can change this crossing and I get the position always visible on the curves and I think it's also possible to go the other way. In this case I, I have a hierarchy uh, using um, the expressions but uh, if I use uh, uh, event uh, server to check where the mouse is then I always have the case the mouse is here on the face and so I can get the parameters u and v of the face and can transform them to the both curves. In the other cases I bring the mouse over such a curve then I can here read the y parameter and bring it back to the face or I have the mouse over <coughs> the other curve and I get the u parameter. So this works or, or will work in both directions. <coughs>